greetings i am dr n k sakthive i would like to focus the fourth unit of the subject multi core architectures and programming cs 6801 as you know anna university is planning to conduct online examinations and the pattern is mcq questions and for first three sub units for the subject i already launched the videos and my dear children most of my students gave a feedback and are requesting videos for different subjects also so this is the fourth unit after this i would like to launch videos for other subjects also so in this video we would like to focus the fourth unit as you know anna university is planning to conduct project yoc examination from on 22nd september 2020 and the theory examinations will commence from 24th september 2020 that you know very well and similarly some other information i was told like this but actually a uh, approved what is called a circular will be communicated by anna university shortly as far as this uh, input is concerned so that is university examination mcq questions will conduct from 29th september 2020 sorry 24th september to 29th september 2020 and this mcq question is a one hour examination you know very well but the additional information is so in this uh, online examination you will be asked 40 questions covering the entire syllabus and you can write only 30 questions so 30 questions is enough out of 40 questions so that is a one additional information and the login id will be forwarded to your registered mail by controller of examinations this is the information i have received but from university you will get a final confirmed circular as of now you understand that 40 questions and you can write any 30 questions and that is enough this is the one information with this input we would like to focus the fourth unit and the fourth unit these are the keywords and all these keywords we will discuss one by one first i would like to focus what is distributed memory so as you know distributed memory refers it's a private memory that means each processor has its own private memory called distributed memory the purpose is that the computational task can only operate the private memory of the processor that means local memory of the processor which is called as a distributed memory so in this mcq we can expect what is distributed memory distributed memory is nothing but pure private memory of a processor okay and the next one is what is shared memory already we discussed what is shared memory the shared memory helps multiple programs to access this memory simultaneously that's a very important one so it is the shared memory that memory can accessed by multiple programs multiple threads multiple processes at the same time that's a very important one you know very well the purpose of this shared memory is to avoid redundant copies reason because so if it is the private memory is reserved for each process for example i equal to 10 i am storing in this first memory let us consider that is 100 memories available in all the 100 memories i needed to store i equal to 10 i equal to 100 any value so the content will be redundant okay copied so that the problems can be solved in this shared memory so that is idea about shared memory and the next one is mpa already we discussed in our previous unit so mpa refers message processing interface 
and this is the additional API to the C compiler or the C++ compiler that you know very well. Okay. And the next one is MPI-CC. So that is called MPI-C compiler. That's a very important. I am expecting this question may come. MPI-C compiler. Okay. So it is a command line to compile as well as to run the program. So MPI-CC is the C compiler which is used to compile the program and to run the program. This is the input. And the next one is mpi exe ec that means execution so mpi execution is nothing but it is initializing and start up in the program so the meaning that it is the execution pattern in parallel so that if any program in it is in the form of exe so that is executable format so when starting the os this task also will be will come to startup uh, situation startup mode that is executing mode and not only that this mpa execute ex ec is used to execute executable pattern or the exe file in parallel that is very important for example see here mpi ex ec hyphen n that is what is called format then after that if i am giving file then five processors will execute the task for example here okay if i am giving that is a 10 mpic exe okay that is hyphen n then 10 then 10 processes will be executed so during that is mcq questions interaction i will give you with a suitable example so this is idea about mpi execution exec and the next one is mpi initialization so initialization okay it's a very important concept the purpose is so before execution the memory storage will be allocated for storing the data understand for example if you are under whenever you wanted to declare array then that memory location will be allocated reserved like this in this mpa system if you wanted to execute any program you wanted to use mpa init so it helps a compiler or a instruct the compiler to allocate storage for new buffer the purpose is it helps to decide which process gets which rank so that's also very important so the two information mpa init is used to allocate the storage for storing data and the next one is it will decide which process gets which rank so that it's a rank will be assigned to the process understand so the two tasks straight away are speaking it is used to assign rank to the process so this is the important activity of mpa init so very important instruction under mpa system next one is mpa finalize so mpa finalize is nothing but it is a instruction informed to mpa system that the executed task is successfully completed okay so once the message is uh, reached the mpa system then the resources allocated for this task you know those resources can be freed so mpa finalize is the mechanism to instruct the mpa system to release the resources which are reserved for executing a particular task so this is called mpa finalize and the next one is mpa communication size so it is also called as communicator so comm refers the communication or it is also called as communicator the primary objective of this mpa com size is to collect a group of processes that can send message to each other please understand let us consider that is number of what is called a processes and all available so the message should be shared to all the processes for that purpose the group of messages or group of processes are combined together and creating as a group and what is called the message will be communicated for example it is like a broadcast and the multicast for example okay particular message i wanted to communicate it to particular group then the same message won't be communicated to another group for this purpose a group wanted to create under the group 
a few processes wanted to uh, bind. For this purpose, we use MPA communication size. Okay, this is a very important one. And one more additional information on this is it is used to find out total number of processes. Okay, so for example, let us consider that is a hundred processes. Okay, and I have only the 10 processors. Okay, for each processor, I can assign 10 tasks. So that 10 into 10 becomes 100. So like this, MPA communication size is a helping, okay, to understand how many processes and after that process and all grouping together and after group, okay, messages can be communicate between each other. So that's the reason why, okay, this statement instructions we used in MPA. And the next one is, okay, we may have what is called a rank also. So that is MPA communication rank also there. So this is the command which is used to um, uh, find out the processor's ID. So it depends upon the processor's ID, the rank can be assigned. MPA COMM rank. So I have highlighted here COMM size and one more instruction is there that is called the MPA COMM rank. So it is used to find out processor's ID. This is a very important one we may expect in this university examination. The both the comments are very important one. It's okay. And after that, so next one is called as MPA sent. Okay. So before this, I would like to highlight what is SPMD. So SPMD is nothing but single program and multiple data. Single program, multiple data. The idea is here, okay, that is a thousands of processors can be executed with one processor. Okay, that's the reason why we use what is called SPMP, single program, okay, multiple data. That means the multiple, here I am referring data is processes. Multiple uh, processes, okay, can be executed with the single program which is assigned to single processor. Okay, so single processor is attached to a, a program is attached to single processor and through that setup, tens of tens of what is called processors can be executed. You very clear what is a process, what is a thread and what is a program. So which and all we discussed in this first unit. So I am not repeating here SPMD refers single program which is executing under a single processor okay where multiple processes can be executed multiple data i am referring here multiple processes okay so that's the idea next one is mpa send so mpa send is nothing but okay this is setup see this diagram you can understand so mpa setup is uh, what is called is an argument setup it is uh, it consists of message buffer message size, message type, destination, tag and the communicator. Okay. So the first three message buffer, message size and the message type. The first three, okay, used to determine the content of the message. What content we wanted to send, how much content we wanted to send that, okay, decided by this setup. So MPA sent this group message buffer is a buffer size and what is called a home byte size and okay what type integer float long integer like this okay type okay and the remaining okay other three okay what is called the parameters destination tag and the communicator determine okay uh, the message okay where the message has to be forwarded that is destination of the message is decided by these three groups so that when you are using what is called MPA sent which is helping how much packet what type of pack, uh, data to be forwarded and where to be forwarded destination so that both the details are very clear so once you are calling MPA sent okay buffer will be created and the buffer size will be increased depends upon your program. If it is integer one size, float one size, long integer one size, you know very well. And then, okay, destination, where that information should be forwarded. 
for this purpose we used what is called mpa sent is a very very important what is called methodology okay to transfer a data successfully to the destination and the next one is okay that is message receive so already I explained sent the same format see here okay this is the another format see the this format isn't it so message receive this also has what is called certain parameters message buffer size buffers buffer buffer size and buffer type okay it is the first three parameters okay is clearing block the memory because from here data is coming and the data should be stored so that the first three parts okay instructions used to block the memory and remaining these three tag communicator status is determines number of objects that can be stored in this block okay clear number of object means data it's a information so that this is reserving a data okay this part reserving the memory and the data is storing this part okay it's creating a bandwidth after that destination destination data coming okay already memory created the space created where data is storing so that mp is sent and the mp receive is a very very important comment which is coming under mpa for successfully communicating a data with 100% security so that's the reason why these two instructions are very very important one okay next i would like to highlight the collective communications what is a collective communication from the name it is very clear that it is a group of processing elements it is a group and not only that this is used for multicast communication and at the same time it is reducing communication overhead that's a way for example best example you can understand the train okay so that is a train no only one engine only one driver and after that okay it is a numbers of what is called coaches are con interconnected or connected together okay for example imagine that okay that is a 45 coaches isn't it so if only one engine or two engines and 45 coaches okay that is a moving imagine that is a bus so 45 buses required 45 drivers conductors require lot of practical problems so that means more overhead that problem can be solved in this collective communication so the purpose is okay group communication under a multicast concept so that communication what is called complexity okay will be reduced okay that is one information and one more information under the collective communication is that here different task can be communicated for example one communication for addition another communication for multiplication third communication for finding maximum number fourth communication for finding minimum number like this different different task can be combined together and the other task can be communicated if it is a ordinary what is called a model api model then for finding a maximum number okay one setup i wanted to create that should be executed for finding a smallest number another set i wanted to create then should be executed so that its a complexity is higher to minimize the complexity this mpa has collective communication so it is a very good methodology okay that is a tool which is developed under mpa so the, i consider this is a very important concept and the next one is point to point communication it is old term point to point communication is one by one okay it is simply is a point to point communication refers connection between okay two points that is called the source and the destination center and the receiver it's okay then after that communication will be forwarded between two different mpa processes you know very well so one side sending operation and other side receiving operation is nothing but matching read operation so matching read means receiving operation the matching read why i am referring here it will help to avoid deadlock the means that when packet is coming okay in the receiver side any other task will be blocked and the data will be received that's the reason why no deadlock and all. so that is advantages of point to point communication and the next concept is called as derived data type 
So derived data type, okay, it is coming under collective communication or the derived data type can be used to represent a collection of data items, okay. So that is a collection of data item means, so different data items, for example, one is integer, other one is a float, third one is a character, then string, long integer, like this, consider types of items, data items, and those data items, data can stored in this location or the memory location uh, relatively, relatively here referred, okay, for example, uh, first one is uh, string is coming, second one is long float is coming, so in the same sequence the data will be stored, so that the advantage is that the parallel communication, okay, the parallel execution is possible without the searching. That's the reason why it's a very, very important concept, derived data type. So derived data type represent a collection of data and in this, uh, what is called memory, we can store, okay, with respect to types of items and the corresponding relative memory location. That means sequence, sequence. So because of these features, okay, so we can improve the performance of parallel computation. So for this purpose, we used these facilities under that is MPA, which is designed for achieving distributed memory programming. So distributed memory, you know very well, is a great methodology. And with the distributed memory, we are executing parallel computation with the MPA. So nowadays, most of the supercomputers using this setup. Okay, with this input, I would like to uh, discuss certain MCQ questions. My dear children, if you have any doubts, please watch the video again and again to understand the concept. Then, okay, you go to that is uh, MCQ questions so that you can find the correct answer and you can remember and you can apply that ideas also. So that in the university examination, without any confusion, you can give the answer. Okay. We will go to MCQ questions. So actually, so clear. So this is a fourth unit, distributed memory programming with uh, one minute. Distributed memory programming with the MPA. Okay, this is the syllabus we discussed. The first question is, okay, a remote node is being the node which has the copy of what? For example, it is, I am talking about distributed memory. So distributed memory, you know very well, okay, for each processor, there is a memory. So if memory means we need a very powerful cache. So this question refers cache of the private memory or the cache of the home block. Home means the processor's home block, isn't it? So that is a remote node is being the node which has the copy of its cache home block. That means the private memory means cache is required. You know the purpose of cache to improve the performance, accessing speed, okay. So that's the reason why this is the, okay, that is answer. Home block is so there, okay, don't confuse, I'm not referring home block, okay, here referring the copy of what is called the node, where shall be stored, okay, in this cache of this home block, that's the reason why I'm selecting this answer, okay. Second question, in a distributed computing environment, okay, uh, the distributed system memory is used for what purpose? Distributed computing environment, distributed shared memory. Distributed shared memory means logical only. Okay, so here the logical combinations of physical memories on the nodes. Okay, so distributed computing environment, the entire distributed shared memory used for logical combinations of physical memories. Okay, so that's the reason why the second is the correct answer. Okay, no physical memories, no virtual memories. So please understand, sometimes answer will be confused. Okay, distributed computing environment, distributed shared memory refers logical combinations of 
but it's called private memory. Private memory is the first physical memory. No doubt about this. Okay. Third question. Okay. What is not true about the distributed system? What is not true? You know very well what is a distributed system. It is a collection of processor. It is true. All the processors are synchronized. Okay. This is not true. So as far as a distributed system is concerned, we cannot synchronize the processors. So answer is this one. Clear? Okay. And the fourth question is to update the cached copies, that means cache memory copies of the data item, we need operation like. So what type of operation is required? To update means write operation is required. And after that, okay, this is uh, what is called uh, cache copies. That means cache means, okay, cache copy means uh, should be broadcasted so that uh, both the answer, okay, all the above. This is the correct because update, write updation is required, write broadcast also required so that we are selecting the second, uh, third answer, all the above. All the above means write and write update and write broadcast. It's okay. Fifth question. Okay. Distributed memory means, sure, it is a private memory. Okay. It is a private memory. So, you know very well, I already explained to you. Okay. The purpose of shared memory. What is the purpose of shared memory? To avoid redundancy. This is a very, very important one. So, because redundancy is the major issue. Let us consider computer systems. We have that is a D drive, E drive, F drive. The same file will be stored in these three different locations. Okay, for example, we have two laptops, one system. Same copy will be stored in these all the three systems. So, redundancy is the major issue that consume more memory so that the to avoid data redundancy, we wanted to use shared memory. Okay, and then seventh question MPICC. I already told you what is that? MPICC, MPIC compiler. Okay, then eighth question MPI execution, EIEC. What is that? It is a program startup. Okay, so this is not used for compilation or run. Startup. Startup means already in exe form. No need to compile. Okay, no need to run. Okay, it is already exe file. Okay, it is like run only. It is like run only, but it is a startup. Startup means when OS is mounting, the task will get ready. Whereas in the program run, okay, after OS mounting, you wanted to run. So that's a difference between this and this. Let us consider here no word startup, then you can give that is program run. That also correct answer. But as the startup is here, this is the correct answer. Eighth question. The ninth question, MPA init. So I already told you init is used to reserve memory. So that is nothing but allocate memory space. Both are the same. Okay. And MPA finalize. So what is finalize? So finalize is nothing but okay that tells the MPA system that the task is successfully completed. That also correct because before finalizing, okay, that the MPA wanted to understand the task is successfully completed or not. This is the correct answer. And the purpose to free allocated resource by MPA. That also correct reason because once the task is completed, to complete the task, some resources reserved, those resource, resources can be freed, isn't it? So, first and two correct answers, so that all the above, I would like to select. This is the correct answer. And 11th question, MPA communication size. Okay, so MPA communication size, the purpose is find out the total number of processes. Okay. The communication size is find out the total number of processes. Okay. Based on that, the rank will be allocated. So the main purpose is find out the total number of processes. Here, communicate is not a communicate. Okay. So that's a number of processes. Okay. That's a twelfth question. SPMD. You know very well. Single program, multiple data. 
please sometimes may be confused okay don't forget single memory multiple data okay 13th question mpa send so mpa send already we discussed okay that is what is called five commands okay five what is called the parameters uh, here only three parameters this is the correct answer message buffer okay message size then after that message type then what is called sending receiving side tag under the communicator so this is the correct answer okay send similarly you may expect the question related to receiver also cmpa receive that also we may expect okay 14th question collective communication what is a collective communication is a multicast and it is used to reduce the communication header also overhead will be reduced so okay multicast and it is reducing a communication okay 15th question derived data type means derived data types means what the collection of data items uh, it's a representation oh, that's correct first is the correct answer representation of collection of data items for what purpose we wanted to derive okay to execute different data sets but all the data sets are combined together and making as a cluster okay so derived data type is nothing but representation of collection of data items or the collection of different different data items both are the correct answer 16th question okay so the purpose of wrapper scripts the purpose of wrapper scripts is used to run okay it is used to run some program why referred it is a some program because those programs are coming under script okay some programs exe programs we can execute that's and all not coming under script so that wrapper script is the executable program that's the reason why run some program this is the correct answer okay that's it. 17th question distributed memory model maximize local computation that is correct by maximizing no so that is this is correct maximize local computation with or and minimizing communication so this is the correct answer this is the prime objective of distributed memory model whenever we are using distributed memory model okay that is communication overhead has to reduce at the same time computing power execution speed wanted to maximize okay 18th question distributed memory model distributed memory model okay is overwrite a variable is a correct distributed memory model so you know very well what is a distributed memory model it is a private memory so the private memory means the previous data we wanted to overwrite okay so that same space can be used for continuous task and all isn't it so it is a overwrite variable okay and it's a controlled no doubt about that because it is a private memory so overwrite and a controlled 19th question collective computation the purpose or the helps okay yeah it is used to compute many task this is the input uh, university examiners instead of max minimum some other operations may be given okay purpose of collective uh, collective computation is to compute many different task for example max task minimize minimum task minimum means to find the minimum number to find the average number to find the sum and like this okay so this is the correct answer and the 20th okay mpa mpa you know very well multiple processes per processing score isn't it so that is mpa is this one okay so mpa purpose is multiple processes are all there okay and those processes can be assigned to the processor maybe processor nothing wrong and that but idea is if we have one processor we can execute more number of processes that is idea of mpa that is nothing but under parallel computation okay it is possible you know very well so this is the correct answer and at 21st okay mpa communication rank very very important question okay so that is a communication rank the rank can be identified based on the processor's id don't forget 
here that is find out this process id also there processors id because now based on processors id only we can give the rank because it depends upon the quality of processor for example okay i uh, what is called the flight reservation okay this flight is going to uh, delhi from chennai i can use what is called economic class or the business class both are the same in both the class i can reach delhi successfully no doubt about that but some features like this if you are selecting a particular processor that the features are all different so that the quality of output will be different that's the reason why that is a rank will be declared based on the processor's id so this is a very important one 22nd mpa sent and the mpa received for what purpose okay both are using purpose is what is called reusing resources okay because okay that is sending and grouping okay so that what is called resource utilization or reusing resources answer is reusing resources one more answer is resource utilization but here reusing resources given so that you give this answer is the correct answer okay 23rd all processes in a process group to invoke as a single procedure we needed what okay init as well as finalize you know very well what is initialization okay initialization and after completion you wanted to finalize so that i am taking a one processor completing a task after that i am relieving the process uh, sorry relieving the processor that's the reason why two are important for all type of group of communications okay 24th okay a paradigm of multiple autonomous computers having a private memory okay you know very well okay that is called a distributed computing so distributed computing means number of processors each processor has its own private memory so that is called number of paradigm multiple autonomous computers having a private memory called a distributed computing definition that you wanted to memorize like anything so that wherever required we can apply the ideas understand okay and the last question okay super computers typically employ for better resource sharing okay and because of better resource sharing better execution also so the idea is okay for better resource sharing so according to these inputs this is the correct answer super computer for okay that is a powerful computation also that also correct but not given so that i am selecting this answer better resource sharing sometimes if we have okay if you are uh, question uh, what is called possibilities okay choices and all confusing okay instead of selection you can reject also for example super computer typically for high security no so i am rejecting this answer so that within the three answers i can choose next one is low system overhead no so i am rejecting answer imagine that this is the answer i do not know at that time i can reject the answer so that i can choose obviously correct answer so like this also you can approach okay the 25 questions i discussed my dear children okay demonstrated a concept and with what is called a few mcq questions i explained the concept please uh, watch the videos frequently understand the concept and it will help you to score highest mark in university examination that pattern is told 40 questions only 30 questions you can write that is enough for getting highest mark so very comfortable but uh, please understand sometimes the questions may be challenged we do not know do not know depends upon the question paper setter so that watch all my videos related to this uh, subject and uh, i am sure okay you will get very good mark so uh, tomorrow i would like to launch a video for a different uh, subjects okay so my dear children okay if you are liking my videos and all please like my channel and subscribe the channel also so that whenever i am posting what is called the new new videos okay you will get notification with these words i would like to conclude this video my dear children all the best my best wishes to score highest mark thank you bye